guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be doing an updated Reptile Room Tour. Um, you guys seem to enjoy the last one so much so I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update um, on all the things that I've changed and the new Reptile that I've added. Um, so I'll just stop talking now and we'll jump straight into the video. So first I thought I'd start off uh, with my Leopard Geckos tank. Um, and this is a completely new tank uh, and completely new setup. Um, and basically I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a rundown uh, of the products I'm using. Um, so I'll just start from the bottom and work the way up. Um, so as a substrate, I'm using the Arcadia Earth Mix Arid. Um, I've always used this for my Leopard Gecko, never run into any problems, uh, and it literally just does everything I need. Um, and then plant-wise, I've got a little aloe plant here, got a piece of grass there. I'm not entirely sure of what that actually is, um, but I know it's reptile safe. I did look into it at the time, but I just can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Um, and the crickets have absolutely devoured it, so I'll probably have to take it out and replace it at some point. And then on the right side over here, I've got a little spider plant. Um, and then on the ground, I've also got cork bark grounds. Um, and then in the back right corner there, I've just put moss underneath this one to allow for the humid hide. Um, and then this end also, there's a little bit of shelter underneath there. Um, and this is basically like, say, a warmer hide. Uh, and then in the middle, she's got neutral ground. Um, and then I just thought I'd show you guys the products I'm going to be using. Um, and I've got a rock here. Uh, and the reason for that is because I'm going to be using the Arcadia um, Deep Heat Projector. Um, and honestly guys, I've had this uh, in use now for probably a month, maybe just over, um, and I can't, can't criticise this at all. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue originally with like the distance between the actual heater and the rock. Um, I just had to sort of adjust it and make it a bit closer so the actual rock would get to the correct temperature. Um, and then for the lighting, I'm using the Arcadia Mini T5 UVB kit, um, and this one is a 7%. Um, and literally, guys, I can't recommend these products enough. Um, my leopard gecko seems to love it. She's making use of literally all the space in her tank. I see her out basking now. I see her, um, you know, just trying to catch rays from the UVB. And literally, like I said, she just makes use of everything in here. Um, and I'm just so happy with the upgrade. Um, so I'll stop talking about this and I'll probably give you a bit of action from her. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next tank. <laughs> right of my leopard geckos tank uh, this is my pac-man frog uh, it is an albino um there's not really much to say about these guys because they don't do an awful lot um but they do just look really cool uh, and they're crazy when they eat um i have changed this tank slightly um it's still got the same pothos in here um but i did remove the water bowl um these guys don't actually require a water bowl so long as the substrate is as wet as they need um because obviously with them being frogs they absorb the water um through their skin um, but yeah, like I said, there's not really much to show you about this guy and um, they don't move an awful lot So I can't give you too much footage on them But I might be able to get you a couple better shots of it um, to show you guys how he really looks But yeah, this tank is pretty much the same as what it was before So this is my dart frog terrarium um, And this is an exoterra 30 by 30 by 45 um, And in here I keep three Anthony dart frogs um, I believe I've got one male and two females I'm not 100% sure yet because they aren't proven breeders um, but well because they are still quite young and um, but hopefully a little bit down the line these guys will be ready for breeding um, you can see one just in the middle there and um, they're still really quite small and um, they don't actually get very big anyway um, but they are still quite small at the moment and um, the only thing I've actually changed about this tank is I've added the moss uh, on the floor to sort of create like a little moss carpet um, and I've also added the big bromeliad um, and also the little uh, climbing plant at the back has started to go um, a little bit crazy now so that's gone right up to the top um, and also, if you did watch one of my previous videos, I said that one of these guys did die um, and I was going to be, uh, be getting another two. Um, I did end up getting them. There are three in here, like I said, but I was just lazy and I didn't film the actual footage of me getting the other two. Um, but yeah, I might be able to get a few shots of these guys, but they are quite shy, so they just hide most of the time. Um, so it might be a little bit hard to get some footage for you. So now moving on to my two larger terrariums. Uh, in here, I house a male crested gecko. Um, he is an extreme harlequin. 
Um, and this tank here, I've spent a lot of time and quite a bit of money on um, to make it wait, look the way it does. Um, the newest plant I think I've added in here is this dumb cane here. Um, and I have literally just changed pretty much everything around in here. Um, I did add that umbrella plant there, also this bigger piece of cork bark going down the front. Um, there is still the existing piece of cork bark that was just on the right side of the tank, but now I've just had that going through the middle, um, and in there I've just planted a load of pothos going up through, um, and then there is a little climbing plant there, and I think that looks um, pretty incredible. Um, I've also added another larger piece of cork bark going up the left hand side of the tank there and then there is one in the back. Um, I think this plant here, the one with the big leaves, is called a lucky plant um, and it's I, I believe it's in the family of like bamboo or something like that. Um, again, I don't know 100% what this plant is um, and what it's called but I did research it um, before I got it but I've had it a while now so I've just forgotten pretty much every piece of information about it. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, just comment down below, ask me a couple questions. Um, and like I said, I do house a male crested gecko in here and I will get him out um, and show you guys to him. Um, and also uh, give you a bit of footage of him. I might be able to get him eating, um, but he is quite shy, so I might not. Um, but yeah, I'll just get him out and show you guys. So unfortunately, guys, he doesn't seem to be in a very good mood and keeps on jumping back in his tank. Um, so I won't be able to get him out and uh, show you him properly. Um, but like I said, I believe he's an extreme harlequin, but then people said he's a Halloween, and then people just say he's a really nice looking harlequin, so there's a lot of variety uh, in what people see in him, um, but at the moment he's currently completely fired down because he was resting and I disturbed him, um, but like I said, it's a shame I can't get him out and show him to you guys, but it is what it is, you can still sort of see him, um, but yeah, he's an awesome guy, I've had him for probably less than a year and um, I'm not 100% on how old he is um, because the people um, that I bought him from didn't know um, but yeah he's doing well in here um, he seems to enjoy his tank quite a lot he's healthy he's doing everything he should be doing um, but yeah he seems happy um, and I'll move now on to my newest addition to uh, my reptile collection which is another crested gecko um, but yeah I'll stop talking about Bert now and we'll jump onto her so again, moving over to the right hand side, uh, this is my newest uh, Crested Geckos Terrarium um, and I've spent a lot of time trying to make this tank how I want it to look um, and I've recently just got these um, ficus trees uh, in the back here. Um, I've also planted a false Aurelia plant in the middle um, and I just think that's cool because it's a New Caledonian plant and obviously Crested Geckos are from New Caledonia so I just think it goes together quite nicely. I've also got a little climbing plant in the back um, I know this is a Hartley filled dendron, I think it's called, and then at the front I've got a um, pothos here, um, and I've also got the same climbing plant as in the other terrariums in the middle there, and on the floor I've got a wax plant there, and then I've also got a parlor, pal a parlor palm and a um, bromeliad just in the middle uh, next to the grapevine. Um, but she is currently up there and um, I will get her out for you guys because she's actually quite handleable uh, and she likes being out so I'll get her out and show her off to you. So I found it really hard to film her and hold her at the same time um, but she, like I said she's my newest addition. Um, I think she's probably about four to five months old now. Um, I'm not 100% on a, a morph. I believe she's a tiger, but she's also um, very cream, as you can see. So she's probably got a bit of something else in her. Um, and the person I got her from wasn't 100% sure um, what she was. Um, and this girl here, I will be raising up. And my plan is to breed her with the Crested Gecko you just saw previously. Um, but like I said, it's going to be a long way away yet because I need to uh, raise her up, get her to uh, a good size to breed. Um, but yeah, this is her tank. I'll give you one last look at it. <laughs> down the rack now um this is my royal pythons tank uh, and if any of you guys are in america obviously you guys know this is a bull python um but here we call it a royal python um and i've completely redone this tank uh, like the other ones um so on the right side which is where i have the heat mat um i just have like a nice little um piece of cork bark like a nice nice little shelter sort of like a wood cave or whatever you could call it um and then a little false plant on the top 
um, and then going through the back I have a cork bark log and then also I've got a little plant on top of that as well and then there was a branch um, I had spanning from this corner all the way up to the top up there but I didn't really like it it didn't look very natural and um, so I just broke it and sort of just had it going up off into there and um, then also I've got her a big water bowl here um, she's currently hiding out behind the log instead of inside it because you know what animals are like they never do what you want them to do um, so I'll just get that out of the way and then show you guys so here she is um, she is just a normal morph um, and she's probably just shy of two years old now and um, she has gained a lot of size recently um, but she's also being a bit funny with eating recently as well so it doesn't really go hand in hand but she has got bigger and she is weighing a little bit heavier um, but yeah, like I said, she's probably about, well, just shy of two years now. Um, she's not as big as what I'd like her to be, uh, considering her age, but her eating is a little bit funny. Um, I do everything I can. I double check her temperatures, her humidity, um, everything like that, and it's all fine. Um, but she just seems a little bit odd with eating. Um, but it's not really a problem because she isn't like ridiculously underweight and obviously it could be worse, she could be overweight. So I would say she's sort of like a happy medium. She's sort of in between the two. Um, she's doing well. Um, the only time she's ever sh like took a strike at me was the other day um, and that was just because I was messing about with a tank while she was in there and obviously she just didn't like it and um, she tried biting my face which is fair enough um, but yeah I won't be able to get you guys much footage of her because I just struggle to hold a snake and film at the same time so sort of what you see here is probably as best as I can do at the moment um, and obviously with it being a royal python they're not the most active snakes out there <laughs> This here is my corn snake Severium. Uh, she's a granite corn snake and she is also, I think, just shy of two years old. Um, and I'll obviously get her out so you guys can see her. Um, I also noticed last night that she was going into shed, so she might be a little bit angry, but it could be a little bit of fun. So um, I'll start moving her logs around and try and find her. So typically, just because I'm trying to film a video, um, she's decided to wedge herself in the log so I can't actually get her out. Um, I might be able to irritate her a little bit just to get her out. Um, obviously, I wouldn't advise doing it, but I want to show it to you guys. So she doesn't want to come out. And obviously, as you can see, her eyes have gone real milky. So like I said, she is in shed. Um, so I won't irritate her too much because I probably will end up getting bitten. Um, but I'll just sort of give you guys a bit of a rundown of this tank, um, what I've changed and obviously my future plans for it. So I'll put her back down now. Um, so at the moment, I've literally just got a couple of pieces of cork um, on top of the heat mat there to allow her to hide. Um, and then obviously the piece of wood she's in at the moment, she's going across the back with some fake plants. And then there's this little piece of cork round here. Um, but yeah, it's not the most pretty tank at the moment, but I will be changing quite a lot um, going on with this tank. Um, so it should look a load better uh, in the coming weeks or maybe months. Obviously I'll keep you guys updated on this. Um, and also I will be changing a little bit of my pythons tank as well. Um, just to make it look a lot better um, I'll, obviously I'll try and keep it um, as close to the setup that I've got because it works fine and they seem to enjoy them um, but it's just going to be things like substrate and decorations that I'm going to be changing just to make it um, a little bit more pleasing to the eye so I've got plans for both uh, my corn snake and python's tank to change the substrate round and um, obviously with the corn snake they're going to require something that's a little bit drier um, than what you would have in your royal pythons tank just because they require less humidity and um, but also it needs to be loose and um, just like the aspen uh, shavings so they can actually burrow in it and um, obviously the python doesn't burrow but it, i still would like to use more of a loose substrate instead of having something um like a real chunky bark um, so I probably will go for something like Arcadia um, Earth Mix Arid and probably mix like a piece of, um, not a piece, but a bit of um, mulch in there just to obviously make it look a bit more natural. Um, and obviously with this tank here, I'll probably just leave quite a lot of mulch in it because obviously it looked like a bit of a forest ground. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to be changing anything massively. It's just sort of looks wise to make them look better to me. And um, but obviously, like I said, I want to keep them quite similar to the current setup they're in, um, just because they work fine and the animals get on fine in them.
So unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got animal-wise. Um, but yeah, so I also get asked quite frequently what LED I'm using on this tank, uh, on these two terrariums, sorry, and it is the um, Nycru LED. I think that's how you say it anyway. Um, and I think this one was like 50 quid. Um, and honestly, guys, this LED bar is pretty good for the money that you pay. Um, the plants, I've not had a plant die on me yet. Um, and they all seem to be growing really well. Um, like, for example, this umbrella plant is just literally constantly, probably once a week, I have a new shoot coming up. Um, and yeah, guys, all the plants are doing really well. Um, and in here, I can't actually remember what these two um, LEDs are, but I've got them in the Exoterra hood, um, and it's just two separate LED bulbs. Um, but I can't remember, like I said, what um, brand they are, but obviously this tank here is doing really well as well. Um, and the lighting by this LED bar I also use going over the top of my Pac-Man frogs tank um, and then I don't have currently any lighting in my snakes tanks um, just because they don't really need the lighting and there's light coming through the window during the day so that helps with a day night cycle and obviously I've run you through my leopard gecko setup and what I'm using for that um, but yeah guys I think at the moment um, I've updated you on pretty much everything um, I need to update you on um, Obviously, I did say about the crested gecko breeding um, and also the dart frog breeding. Hopefully that, that picks up soon because that's something that um, I'd be interested in doing. It's a nice little project and it's obviously something to keep me busy. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this update. Um, if you did, please remember to drop a like. Uh, and if you want to see videos like this from me in the future, um, remember to subscribe. Uh, and if you want to be updated um, when I upload these videos, remember to hit the bell button. Um, and also, guys, if there is any advice you guys have got for me, just comment down below. If there's any questions, just ask. Um, I will leave my Instagram linked below also, um, so you guys can reach me on that as well. Um, and also, I just want to give a shout out to um, one of the local reptile shops I go to. Um, and the website is called um, Felsuma Farm, um, and it's a local one in Somerset. Um, and honestly, guys, the guy's called Simon. Um, he's a really, really handy guy, um, well, just to know. Um, and all his products are just really good. He's got a good stock. Um, and honestly, I don't think I really need to go anywhere else. Obviously, there's some things that maybe he can't get hold of, so I'll have to source that myself. Um, but honestly, guys, he's a great guy, great customer service. I can't recommend him uh, highly enough to anybody. Um, I literally recommend that you go to him for anything because he can pretty much source anything obviously if you're not local to him then it's a little bit different um but if you are local toward like the somerset area then yeah i would highly suggest that you go through with this guy um i'll leave all his links below he has recently started a youtube channel so i'd appreciate if you guys could go over um, and show him some love uh, and also i'll leave his instagram and his website in the um section below and um, so please guys just go check him out um so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one